Hi, my name is Tal Berry, and I lead the research and security for uh, Zengo. I have uh, 15 years of experience in cybersecurity and protocol uh, research, and I apply it here in uh, Zengo. So the main challenge, of course, is the challenge of uh, managing the private key. And before Zango, the user had only two options. They can either uh, accept all the risks that are associated with uh, managing a private key and manage them themselves. They need to be careful to keep it not just against theft, to keep it very secret, but also they need to keep it uh, in a place that it won't get lost. And we often think, uh, more about uh, the first problem, how I won't be hacked and my money will be stolen. But in practice, uh, there are more cases in which users just lost their uh, keys. There wasn't any good solution for that. And what user did is to relieve themselves from this uh, trouble, they would give away their private keys, host their uh, private key in uh, exchanges or other cloud services and then they are not bothered with managing the private key. But the problem is they say, not your keys, not your crypto. So they give full control to the exchange and hopefully this exchange is not hacked or goes wrong or bankrupt and so on. And there are many stories about that too. So up until Zango, there wasn't any good solution. You just have to choose between the lesser evil of the both. First of all, uh, our core technology of uh, threshold signatures breaks that uh, problem of the private key. And because the, right now with threshold signatures and Zango, there is no private key. Secrets are created in a distributed manner between the mobile device that is owned by the user, by the mobile app automatically, and other secret information is independently created on the server. Using that technology, there is no private key. It's not two halves that get united somewhere along the way. Even when you sign the transaction, there is a distributed algorithm where each side adds a little bit of information in a gradual manner. They do some ping pong between them, a dance, and they are able to distributively sign that transaction. And as a result, the private key is never in one place. It cannot be hacked from one place. So a hacker wants to steal the font would have to hack both the device and our server at the same time. And as opposed to uh, exchange solutions, even if we get hacked or something like that, or go rogue, we cannot spend the, our customers' funds because we are lacking the secret information that is uh, placed on the user's device. So this is the core. And on top of that, we added a lot of other mechanisms to help uh, uh, users. For starters, the fact that we are a mobile application protects our user from phishing because it's not just a URL and not, it's not just a website. We also uh, made our mobile app passwordless. So there is no password you can lose or can be tricked into revealing. We use state-of-the-art biometric security and also leverage on the special hardware capabilities of the mobile device, such as Face ID and Touch ID for an iPhone. Security is always uh, something uh, relative. So I think that we offer a very nice trade-off between usability and security. So for normal people that just want to use crypto and not worry about the, their private key. It's a, a very compelling trade-off between usability uh, and security. So we intend to invest a lot of uh, effort in these areas. 
uh, because security is very, very important to us and to our customers. First of all, the first level is, the, is there. We have everything uh, in there. The app is secure. We did all kind of penetration tests against, uh, against it and auditing, both on the cryptography front and also from the application layer. You can uh, find uh, this certification for these audits on our website. So, first of all, the ground floor is there and we intend to add more and more frauds on top of it, more of anti-fraud measures, more, uh, more secure ways to authenticate because security is always a cat and mouse game. Now that we are ahead in this game, but surely uh, attackers will find new clever ways to attack and we will be on top of that and always trying to push harder and adding more and more security feature for the benefit of our users.